Well, today marks the end of February, and with it, Black History Month, which makes our next story especially timely. Absolutely. And when you think of the civil rights struggle, too often the women who played important parts in it are somewhat forgotten. And an exhibit I checked out, though, seems to change all of that. These are the most celebrated voices. I have a dream. The most famous images. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. But here in this room in Harlem, the spotlight shines on a part of black history, American history, often relegated to the cracks of pop culture or the small print of textbooks. This wonderful exhibit here is a a story about African-American women's struggle for freedom and justice in this country, going all the way back to uh, Harriet Tubman in the slave period and all the way up through the civil rights and black power era. And it you know, tells a story that has not been told before. Since 2008, this exhibit known as Freedom Sisters has traveled the country and now makes its 12th and final stop in New York City at the Malcolm X and Dr. Betty Shabazz Memorial and Educational Center, a celebration of Black History Month and also Women's History Month in March. It's an interactive collage of the lives of 20 African-American female pioneers, past and present, educators, activists, politicians, journalists, all of whom furthered the fight for equality. They represent a major river of American his history, a major river of Amer the story of American freedom that has not been told before. Um, if we think of all of these women, their lives touch the lives of everybody else. Featured are well-known icons like Coretta Scott King, Dr. Betty Shabazz, and Harriet Tubman, a soldier of the Underground Railroad. But up from the ground also come these stories. Shirley Chisholm, the first African-American woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and the first African-American to run for president. Charlene Hunter Galt, a decorated journalist who helped integrate the University of Georgia. Sonia Sanchez, a university professor and renowned poet. And Frances Watkins Harper, one of the first abolitionist speakers of the 1800s. All of these women, trailblazers and crusaders, and proof that progress is defined by greatness, not gender. The international struggle for human rights is a struggle for all people, and uh, the exhibit here definitely shows the contribution that women, particularly black women, have played in that struggle. It touched me hard because, you know, we struggle every day. Every day is a struggle now, and it kind of put a fire inside of me to keep going, you know. I learned about black women and the stuff they did to make women now have rights and be equal. Even this very room is steeped in history. At this very spot back on February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated. But here, through this exhibit in the center that bears his name, it's the legacy of the civil rights movement that lives on. The future of the exhibit, which was put together by the Smithsonian and the Cincinnati Museum Center, remains unclear. It shares the stage, though, with other new civil rights landmarks, the MLK Monument in Washington, D.C., and the National Museum of African American History and Culture, set to open in three years in the nation's capital. In the meantime, Mark Harding takes pride in the exhibit that he oversees, knowing Freedom's sisters are finally getting their due respect in the family of civil rights heroes. We all know the story about Rosa Parks. She refused to give up her seat on the bus and what that led to here, but the beauty of this exhibit, too, is there's so many other women in here who may not be as well known but still contributed so much. We're in a room full of, of giants. You're absolutely right, Rob. You know, these women, these 20 women are representative of women from different eras in American history and from different parts of the country and from different, different ways of lives. And their bravery, their courage, um, both in terms of their relationship to their community, uh, in relationship to the wider American society, really changed the world. Fascinating. It's a great story, Rob, and humbling, I'm sure, to be in that room. Oh, absolutely. I mean, just the, the, surrounded by these incredible women and some whose stories I didn't know. I didn't know until I went there and learned. Because, like you said in the piece, I mean, it, you do learn about Harry Tubman and Credit Scott right. King and, and Betty, Dr., uh, Dr. Betty Shabazz, but you don't learn so many other women who have done so many things. And they picked 20. Scholars picked these 20, but they said, of course, there were hundreds they could have picked from. So if you want to go, again, it's here uh, in Harlem, seven days a week, free of charge. It's going to run until April 22nd. And so if you're in town, go check it out. Learn something, okay. as I did for sure. Oh, absolutely. So, Fascinating. Cool.